where did all your loose skin go after losing 130 pounds? I've been getting asked that a lot. And the truth is, one, I chose to lose it really slowly. And I think that actually saved me from getting the really dramatic loose hanging skin that you see on some like extreme weight loss cases. And by slow, what I mean is I used portion control and walking and I lost 100 pounds in a year. My first 50 pounds came off like in three months and then it steadied out to like one to two pounds a week. Then after the first year, after losing 100 pounds, I tried to speed up my weight loss and I cut out like treats and things that I loved and that kind of backfired. I ended up going off track and gaining 10 pounds. So then it took me the next year to get back on track, lose what I had gained and then the last 30 pounds that I had. So basically I have no weight loss surgery, no skin surgery. I did it completely natural. The other thing is that people carry their weight differently and so you'll see loose skin looking differently on some people. My starting weight, I was 275 pounds and Kyle, my husband, he was also morbidly obese. He was 375 pounds. Both of us lost it natural and everyone carries their weight differently. So for instance, Kyle carried most of his weight in his stomach. So most of his loose skin is surrounding his stomach area. Myself, I carried it all over. So my loose skin is more like evenly dispersed. I went from 275 pounds to 145 pounds. And then what I did next was because I did have loose skin, um, I wanted to try to like build muscle so that I could reshape my body and try to fill up some of the loose skin with muscle. Uh, there's nothing except for surgery that will take away or remove my loose skin completely. Um, but building muscle did help me. I, I did a lot of like um, collagen, fish oil. I moisturized every single day. I also take biotin, which is also good for skin. And those things I think help me with the appearance of my skin. So it kind of makes my, it gives the appearance of my skin looking better, healthier. And I did notice with moisturizing all the time that some of my stretch marks did fade and the muscle did help me like, it helped me fill in some of my loose skin. But as you can see, like I do still have loose skin and I will always have loose skin. It's on here, here all around my face, then um, my belly. Some of it is belly fat, like I don't have a perfect body, so I do have some belly fat, but I do have loose and hanging skin, which is why I love high waist pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you can see, there it is. Look, or turn around here. I've got it back here usually like hangs out of like my sports bras and stuff. I do have some like on my chest. It's a bit saggy there, <laughs> nothing I can do. Um, but yeah, I got it here. Some a bit like on my knees there. A lot of people often like leave in the comments that they're concerned about loose skin with weight loss. Don't let it discourage you. Yeah, is there some days where I'll buy a new outfit or a pair of workout pants and go, I wish I could see what they would have looked like without loose skin, sure, but I would never trade my loose skin for the world because it reminds me every day of where I used to be. I was morbidly obese, I was mentally and physically unhealthy, I could barely walk because my weight was causing me serious health problems, I needed a CPAP machine to breathe at night, and I struggled with emotional eating. And now I, I love food, I have a good relationship with food, I've worked on my body and reshaped my body. I'm proud of myself. I don't think I'll ever get the surgery to remove the skin because it reminds me every day of how far I come and to stay on top of it every single day because even though I've lost the weight and I've kept it off for nine years, I'm not perfect. I'll always have to be on top of it. So don't let loose skin discourage you, the friends. So to summarize, I lost the weight really slow. I built as much muscle as I possibly could. 
moisturize really helps some supplements can help like the collagen the biotin drinking lots of water making sure i'm always hydrated and then these things can also help so all of those things help me minimize the loose skin as much as i possibly could you can't prevent it 100 percent, but that stuff did help me and then when it came to building muscle creatine really helped me after i lost the weight i started lifting weights to build muscle and i took creatine your body does make some of it naturally but when you're trying to build muscle this can help even more it makes my muscles look fuller it helps me lift um better and lift a few extra reps with proper form and i also notice better recovery and less muscle soreness when you're not used to lifting, your muscles can be sore and this like really helped me with that too. This is HTLT Seps Creatine. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link will be down below for that. I, like I said, I did lose my weight with portion control, 130 pounds, kept it off for nine years. If you wanna know exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50, links down below and Code Nicole will save you 10%. So. Slow and steady wins the race. Weight loss should never be a punishment. You gotta love what you're doing, love your food, love your exercise, and slow. Do it slow. If you do it too fast, you're way less likely to keep it off. It's not a race to friends. You can do this. Watch this bit and this bit for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips because Sass and I are real friends, losing weight in the real world. We love our food, we build into muscle, wow. and Yes. Looking like Arnold. <laughs> Not really, but that's fine. I like to pretend. Love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I'll catch you in the next vid. Cuda Rooney. Pizza. Pizza. Flip. Flip. I think we'll end it there. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.